hi everyone so uh, today i'll be creating a video uh, based on azure Admi administration az105 uh, preparation so previously i have created one video uh, in 19th april 2022 uh, last month uh, how uh, my exam experience was and how i have uh, gone through this exam but today i'll create an honest review on the preparation so if you are only uh, planning to take az104 or azure administrator you can watch this video otherwise you can skip the video so i have gone through a lot of like youtube videos you can uh, like you know search over internet so the preparation whatever they told i think it is not, not a genuine one so most most of the cases it was not genuine so i'll just uh, tell you that my 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 review towards this exam and I have, this is a review and my preparation plan whatever i have uh, taken and i will tell you wh what exactly uh, like you know will be beneficial for you to prepare so because i have uh, gone through a lot of resources uh, since i am not too much familiar with uh, azure i have just taken az 900 and is dp 900 period to taking az 104 so i do not have much period experience so i have gone through a lot of uh, resources and most of the resources are not helpful for the exam but if you search over internet you can see a lot of exam experience or like you know the preparation video so they will be basically telling those so I'll start from beginning. So uh, I have around one and a half year experience in Azure, but that too, you know, is not administration level. It's kind of a, a developer role. So I have worked with uh, Logic App, uh, Function App, uh, uh, like uh, CI/CD pipeline of their Azure repo, and few other like you know, uh, uh, like their uh, Cosmos DB and few other database so like uh, service bus it is like you know few only few services but in this azure administrative exam they will check all the, almost all the services and that too they are expecting in very practical knowledge so you need to prepare i mean if you are already uh, having uh, experience in azure administrator it may be uh, like you know take one or two months for the preparation but if you are not uh, familiar with azure administration i would say like it will take at least two or three months of complete preparation complete preparation as in like you know for weekend uh, you can prepare for six to eight hours per day and for weekdays you need to prepare for two hours so possibly for five or four days at least it, i mean i we can understand like you know we cannot uh, read or we cannot prepare for every day so that will be your first plan like you know you need to basically prepare for at least uh, two to three months so how uh, your preparation would be so first of all you need to uh, so what i did basically i have uh, uh, like you know gone through this uh, video tutorial uh, this video tutorial is basically compact it is not so big by scott duffy so that is a renowned video tutorial 4.5 rating from udemy so you can go to this video tutorial watch all the videos and they have also i think uh, two uh, practice test so take that exam so that is like you know, the first strategy you need to go through all the video like video tutorials at least you need to take up uh, at least one video tutorial so i have taken scott duff you can take an alan rodriguez which is again good but alan rodriguez is little detailed so it is like around 25 hours and you can see here it's half 12.5 hours so they have I mean, uh, Scott Duffy has uh, covered all the major services within 12.5 hours. So you need to basically go through once and you need to go for a repeat, uh, like, you know, stuff. Like once you are repeating the videos, make sure you take some notes. Uh, maybe like you know, if you are repeating, you can like increase the speed that I normally do, maybe uh, 1.5x or even 2x uh, so that like, you know, I can quickly maybe uh, one, one within one or two days, I can completely uh, visit those videos so at least seven to uh, ten days first you need to take this video course and then what you can do like uh, i have gone through the not the video test but the practice test i have taken from both of the guys so total i think alan rodriguez has around two practice tests here also i have around two so four practice tests i have taken so that was my first strategy and now uh, this is uh, the place that uh, microsoft azure like you know they expect you to read so i haven't gone through all the details <clears throat> so from microsoft docs i have gone through few of the areas when i uh, when uh, like you know where exactly um, i have some difficulties so that specific area i have gone through not all because it, if you are planning to take all this one so it may take i mean for this service i have completed 60 percent of the course so it will take around one more than a month and they have a lot of uh, good materials inside it but i mean it's very difficult to complete this 
one so if you are uh, if you are taking some advice from other youtuber they will just told like you know they have gone through all the microsoft doc and they have taken the exam so which is wrong like you know this is very difficult to complete even if you are completing it you still need to take some practice test in order to pass the exam so uh, do not believe those uh, like stuff try to complete like from here i have completed 7% so whatever you feel like you do not have concept clear concept you just gone through like those services and you will get a clear concept of this uh, services so that is one now apart from is i have taken uh, wizlab course uh, not like the complete course but i have taken uh, that like you know that practice test so you can see like you know i have completed uh, uh, most of the test i have taken all four tests and then this one also but uh, for me like it is useless because uh, from wizlab i could see only uh, 20 to 30 percent question are common and that too like you know only type of question you will get so not the complete question so um, it is not very like helpful i would say like if you are planning to take uh, that is fine but do not waste the money in wizlab so only 20 to 30 percent question you will get it from wizlab now the next one uh, for me like you know since i haven't um, have much experience in uh, uh, like Microsoft exam. I have taken uh, this like uh, complete 3.45 hours exam e exam cram. So this is basically a exam cram is uh, like a you know, small version of the entire course. So three hours I have taken. But like you know, if you have completed um, Scott Daffy or Ellen Rodriguez, this is also it is not useful. But for SEPA side, I have completed this course also. And uh, again, like I have. Uh, completed this guy's course so on almost 9.47 so this course is very good so if you if you do not want to purchase say like udemy course you can uh, take this guy's course uh, sushant basically and uh, the great part is like he will discuss some of the uh, like you know question during his uh, like middle of this like you know course so this is very good so i have completed i think 60 to 70 percent of the services so that is kind of a refresher but again i would say if you are taking scott Ruffy or alan rodriguez course do not take it do not it is not required to take it okay then next i have gone through like you know this is one one i think one hour 45 45 minutes one not four like you know review question and answer so i have gone through all the reviews and questions this is basically good but the problem is in the actual exam you you will get around 10 to 10 percent uh, question from this there is around 90 90 question i think so from this one so it's 87 question so it is not that much helpful but for clearing your concept you can go through that the final uh, tips i will give you like you know the best one that i found is this like uh, this uh, document i have posted it in my uh, web store so this is nothing but like you know actual exam uh, like uh, dumps basically so that you need to go through but the uh, you can you can you can download it from here i'll give you a discounted link so from here so the good part is here you can see you will see like 292 pages all uh, all all like uh, i think 360 question along with nine case studies and the question is answer are verified so the problem is you can even purchase from uh, uh, actual exam or or like you know um, the other uh, like dumb side the problem is their uh, answer is not validated so these these dumps are all are validated so you can see like you know it is red mark so they have uh, validated and then uh, this is like you know these are verified so even if uh, you plan it you can uh, download it from here and one more thing i have just gone through the before the exam this is a practice like cheat sheet this is not that much required but for a refresher you can go through the cheat sheet so that was my uh, preparation strategy for this exam so the first and foremost strategy you need to complete at least one video lecture then you need to at least go through these dumps so you i mean it is not necessary that you will download these dumps you can take pass ladder actual exam it exam or anything like you know uh, any of that uh, like in you know, a complete dump and like you know at least you need to go through the three times like two to three times otherwise like you know you may not be able to recall those question and uh, i think like you know possibly you'll get 90 percent or 95 percent question from this uh, these types of like you know dumps so that is a very good thing so you must need to prepare from here and also like if you before the exam just if you can go through 
a cheat sheet or maybe a small video lecture where everything is jot jot down so that that will be helpful so that was my entire plan i will i will paste all the link uh, in my video description if you need to download this uh, two resource you can download it from there thank you